What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as Ashikaga. We are doing pretty well. All of a sudden we turned it around. It looked bad. It looked like it was going downhill. But we've recovered. It's got a course and provinces that we've taken. We're pretty safe now. We have all of the uh, the remaining daimyos under control. And basically we can stop Hosokawa expanding now. They can't really do anything. I guess they could attack these yellow guys. But I think they're allied to Korea. So yeah, they should probably be safe. And they're allied to us as well, so they can call us in. And we combined, I think I myself, from just about the same strength still. I, they took all this mid-war, so it's hard to tell. I think I can match them, and then obviously I get to call in everyone else now, because they are no longer part of us, which means we'll have to fight them to take all of their land, which isn't ideal. But it's it stopped them from getting too strong. We can just integrate everyone else and then pick them off, you know, as the time comes. Just as if they were, you know, they are basically just a normal nation now. No special mechanics to worry about. We just take them out. So that's good. We're undercovered. We've now brought up to a 16 stack military. We just need to avoid this civil war. Um, I'm not sure how close it is. What is it? It's at like 5, 10, 23%. So to avoid it, we must just get legitimacy to 75. It's currently at 68 and it's going up at 2 a year. So I think we'll be fine as long as I don't do anything too drastic in the coming coming months. Make sure I don't mess anything up. If I avoid royal marriages, that sort of thing, that might lower it. We should be fine. We're annexing somebody just down here. Chiba. One stack we'll get. We'll get one province. But every little helps at this point. Just going to be patient. Let it happen. We've got some other people ready. Toki. Who is Toki? Is that these guys? No, that's Ito. Toki, okay, so next up will be these guys, so that will be a big chunk as well. That'll be good, that'll look pretty good once it's done. Okay, there's a few provinces integrated. There's one more, but we don't quite have enough score just yet, so I won't make the states. They're making a little bit more money now, that's good, that's good. I may have made a mistake with the idea groups, I think I'm going to scrap the first one uh, and just save our points. I know I started down this, and it was pretty useful. Um... But there's not that many left, like vassals, and then eventually they'll all be gone. So that was probably a bit of a mistake. Okay, so they've got some rebels to deal with. If people break free, I don't know if we'll get them back, because like these guys were originally ours. We probably won't. But oh, they're going to come into our land, aren't they? Are you serious? <laughs> oh no, they went past. Thank you. That was kind of them. Just, just ignored us. That civil war is getting a little scary. 36%. Oh, come on. Come on. I think we should be fine. Just. I think it's going to be close. But um, we should be okay. 85% towards annexing Chiba. I think we're improving. Who's this? 132. I think we're also improving relations with these guys to do next. And then after these guys. Alright. Fabricate a claim. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm surprised I have claims on everything. But oh, just, there we go. Yamato. That is the province nearby. Just there. So we'll get that one. Looks like they did manage to deal with the rebels. So I guess that's like 41%. Plus one every month. Overextension is at least 10%. Oh, it's going to go away anyway, I think. In just a second. 100%. Wait, it says 100%. It's not finished. There we go. <laughs> Integration is a slow process. But it's done. And I think we can go straight into annexing these guys because we had relations well over 180. So that's good. There we go. So we'll go straight into that. Add them in as well. For the one stack to join our army. Come over there. And we'll finally have connected most of it. I mean, this area is kind of connected. And it won't be so border gory. We'll finally have a consolidated band of red on the map. Okay, this overextension is going to go away, so that's good. Is this this is being called? I thought it took a diplomat, but apparently not. The more you learn. Um, but yeah, once that's done, I think it's going to go away anyway. But I might, if not, then it should go away pretty soon. Because this is at seventy-two now, and I think December be seventy-four. Nope. <laughs> at some point, it'll go up to seventy-four. Uh, it's getting a bit high. Okay, 76 now, so it should go away. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster, have regency council. Well, do I have to have a regency council? That seems a bit... 
brutal. Oh, I think it, it, it stopped increasing now. Because the thing he's been called. One stability or ten prestige. You take the stability. I guess it's the three. Very nice. Alright, who's next? In terms of integration, I'm proving with these two. Obviously, these guys are a bit far away, and I don't think they actually want to be integrate. Oh no, they're all happy to be integrated. Imag, what? No, Ando is these guys. I don't know who Imagawa are. Where are they? Who are they? Oh wait, that no, that oh yeah, that is them. Ito. Then there's a pink nation. Oh, that's these guys on this separate island. That's pretty cool. Okay. I don't know what order we'll do, but we'll just try and do all of them. Don't need to rush into this again. We can't do anything anyway for another four in-game years. High Liberty Desire. Who's that for? Ito. Well, they're the biggest at the moment, so that makes sense. There's not much they can do. Don't think they can leave. So that's fine. Let me just check. Military. Luckily it only shows countries we know. Well, this would get very confusing. Yeah, this is us. And where is Hosokawa down here? 10,000 with less manpower. Same force limit. But yeah, they're lower down. Not doing as well as us. So that's good. That's good. And obviously ours is going to keep increasing. We'd get everyone else. So we get 3 plus 2 plus 4. So that's that. 5, 9, 12. 14. So we'd get, yeah, we'd get an extra 14 stack should we go to war with them as well. So it'd be a pretty, pretty one sided affair. <clears throat> okay. 16%. It's taking a little while. That's fine. I wasn't, wasn't expecting it to be super quick. I think it's going to get quicker as we get bigger. I guess relations is part of it as well, but yeah, I'm sure we'll get quicker as we get bigger. These guys, one province, that should not take too long at all. Where should I put all our boats? I guess I'll bring them. We've only got six, but I'll bring them around this side. Royal marriage, legitimacy minus five. I'm going to have to decline that just in case it starts the thingy again. Civil war, rebel uprising, Oda separatists, Hosokawa separatists. Okay, there's going to be a few rebel uprisings. It's fine, we're prepared this time. I'm on full. Maintenance. Right, let's get this. Technology level 6, 556. Five, what are they on? They're on 376. Three? Six. three. <laughs> How do they manage that? Okay, but at least we're on 6, the same as them. Defensive foot soldier, Samar samurais. I mean, we don't even need to look into the stats. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Got to go for the samurais. We have another one stack somewhere. Oh, come over here. If you. Or don't, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> just, just stay where you are. Can you not come over here? See, it's possible to move here, but all fleets are currently busy. Are they? I don't think we have any transports, because I was just like, you know what, we're not going to leave Japan just yet. We don't need them. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Best in new ideas. So we could get this, which would reduce the annexation cost. But like I said, I did... Is that... Does that make it cheaper to do it? Will it quicker, be quicker doing it? Or will it only reduce the penalty towards the others? That's a bit... I think it will make it easier to do it. So let's go... Oh yeah, it just shot up to like by 20%. So that makes sense. Okay, that was a good move then. Okay. I mean, we may as well finish this. The other things aren't that bad. Like diplomatic relations up one is quite nice. It's going to be nicer later on. Doesn't matter right now. Reputation, that's quite good. Envoy travel time, it's a bit of a random one, but that's not too bad. And you'll get all the mini bonuses at the bottom as well, and you always get an extra one when you pick it, so... Oh no, I think that was for ticking this off. 100% extra prestige, that is nice. From land battles. I have a few of those, so that's good. And then vassal force limit contribution, I mean we don't need that one, but I think if you want the bonus for completing the whole group, you may as well do that, so... Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was looking pretty terrible. I mean, I guess I'll start improving relations with you. 72.5% now on these guys. So that's nice. They will be integrated pretty soon. But yeah, okay, it's going a lot. It's going like 4% a month now. That's a lot quicker. Some Oda separatists are about to break out. They were down here, weren't they? So I'll go deal with those. When they pop up, we can finally afford a building. 
turn that money, those money issues around. <laughs> Took a while. We got there. Do we have any loans still? No. We could reduce this inflation. Um, but is it that bad? Okay, no, 0.6% increased cost. Let's not have that. Reduce that. Right, let's go deal with these guys. I don't get why this guy can't walk out. Oh, because I can't get through Hosokawa. That's why. I was very confused. <laughs> but there we go. That does make sense. Did that, do you get prestige from fighting rebels? I don't think so. Would have been cool if we did. But I do, do doubt that one. 90%. Nice. I'm just going to improve relations with all of them, or as many as I can at once. They're actually in the negatives with these guys. He's got a lot of provinces, so that'll take a long time. Everyone likes us? Well, we won't forget it. Gains on Toki. I don't want one on them. They're our friends. No, they're not Toki. Who's Toki? Oh, well, they're not going to be around for much longer, but... Let's not put anything at risk. 96%. It's going to be a good episode if we can integrate them. Two people in one episode. That is going to be good. It's probably the best best so far. 100%. Are we ready? Just a big moment. We get to watch it. All our hard work. There we go. Integration is a slow process. Five prestige. We get up to 19,000 men in our army. And straight away. Please don't have dropped too much. No, it didn't. There we go. We will begin to integrate these guys. See how quick that is. 3% a month. Nice. Still losing a ton of money. I think that is the. F is that the army maintenance? Why has it gone up so much? Not really sure. Um, let's let's have a quick look at this economy. Minus two point five. What's going on? We maybe just have too many troops. That wouldn't be. Yeah, maybe. I mean, how much does it cost? That's two point five a month. Army maintenance costs nine. I don't want to put it on zero after what happened last time, so I'm just gonna gonna cut it like one, two, one. Fifteen's a nice number. Let's see if that's enough. Probably not. Oh, there we go. They were costing one ducat a month. What? How? <laughs> Why were those last units so expensive? I don't know. Maybe it was still maintenance costs, and I reacted a bit prematurely, but it's fine. Doesn't matter too much. It's dealt with the issue. We still have a fairly big army. We definitely have the manpower to quickly arm up again. How are we doing for technology? Do I want to maybe develop some more provinces? They're all sort of neighbour bonuses, so it's all worthwhile at the moment to get the technology, so maybe I'll just wait. Because when we're ahead, that's when, when it's like in the red, you don't want to be purchasing them then. You want to be saving our points. But that looks a lot better now. <laughs> it was so crazy. It's been... It's only been 40 years in game, but it's definitely a lot more blobby, a lot less blobby. Well, no, it's blobbed out, but yeah, not as bad as it was. We're getting to see a little bit more. Coast of Africa. What was that red? Oh yeah, that's that little bug that happens sometimes. Don't worry. See the Mamluks. Not much more. Great powers wise. Ming, the Ottomans, France. There's no real surprises on that list, I guess. Looks pretty normal. It's just like when someone randoms up the, at the top or not even on there like if the ottomans weren't on there that'd be a bit alarming could build an improvement local tax plus 40 percent that'd be good in kyoto can i get one and it'd be basically all our money local trade power so what would be better production efficiency we can't actually afford this now we need level six that'd be why okay we're at full with those guys we can integrate them in the north just to maybe stop Hosokawa pushing up to the yellow people. Wait, no, that sounded terrible. To yellow bordered country, I guess. Yeah. I realised like how that sounded. That sounded so bad. I probably made it worse by addressing it, but never mind. Whatever. We'll move swiftly on. Uh, temple. Right, let's just build one in Kyoto. <laughs> it's already probably like the best province in the region by quite some quite some way. I did invest a lot of points into it. 23 development. It's pretty good. And this one next to it's quite good as well, which is obviously the former Hosokawa capital. 
Right, 90%. This is going to be a good, good episode, but it will be the end of said episode. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.